Good morning. Good morning and welcome to Tuesday morning, the 1st of March, 2022, uh, in the year of our Lord, to Peace Through the Word, uh, daily devotional ministry of Peace in the Valley Lutheran Church, Benson, Arizona, in Cochise County of Southern Arizona in the United States of America. So good to be able to welcome you to a brand new month, the month of March, and we are right beginning uh, the church year of Lent. Tomorrow is Ash Wednesday, and it starts the church year of Lent, but more on that tomorrow. But uh, today it is so good to welcome you wherever you're chiming in worldwide to this piece of ministry, this daily devotional ministry. And I'm Pastor Ron York of Peace in the Valley Lutheran Church here in Benson, coming to you from my office here at Peace in the Valley Lutheran Church. And my brothers and sisters, this morning our devotional, and I'm using our devotional Portals of Prayer. And it's a wonderful uh, resource uh, from uh, uh, our denomination of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod. Uh, and if you don't have a resource for daily devotion, I can highly recommend this. Portals of Prayer, you can get it through Concordia Publishing House. Just request the Portals of Prayer. But today, uh, our devotional is going to talk about uh, the subject, letting us. And uh, that's good. You know, God allows us and gives us the privilege to join him in what he's already doing in ministry. And that is a tremendous blessing and a tremendous privilege and I pray that you will see that this morning by the power of the Holy Spirit. And as a result of that, it will give us genuine, real peace together as we come together in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear our voices. And in the morning, we prepare a sacrifice for you and we watch. Our mouths are filled with your praise and with your glories all the day. O Lord, open our lips and our mouths will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, the passage of Scripture that our devotional is going to unpack for us comes from the book of Hebrews, and I'm going to read Hebrews chapter 10, verses 19 through 25. And listen to how the words let us come into play in this particular passage of scripture. And I pray it's going to bless you. It says, therefore, brothers, since we have confidence to enter the holy places by the blood of Christ, by the blood of Jesus, by the new and living way that he opened for us through the curtain, that is through his flesh. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience in our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see, see the day drawing near. God's word for us. That passage of scripture, not neglecting to meet together, is corporate worship on Sunday mornings. So let's see how our devotional unpacks this for us this morning on the privilege of God allowing us to join him in ministry as to what he's already doing. It says, being a parent has taught me the true power of invitational language. <laughs> I like that, I like the way they put that. When I ask my children to participate in a family activity, be it cleanup time or movie night, it always goes better when I invite rather than demand. Same thing holds true with Jesus. You know, he could demand us because he's God, right? He could, but he invites us, invites us to join him, invites us to worship with him, invites us, invites us, all right? 
So let us draw near. Let us hold fast. Let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works. The writer of Hebrews invites his readers. Confident and assured that the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ has redeemed them and that their baptism has brought them into the household of God, they are then invited to be God's people together. And we are too. So let us draw near. We can invite a friend who is questioning his or her faith to join us in worship. Confident that God will meet us in his word. Let us hold fast. We can invite our congregation when faced with challenges to our doctrine and practice, assured that the Lord is always faithful. You know, we've got that today. Yet the Lord is always faithful, not just sometimes, but always, okay? So let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works. We can invite our family and neighbors as we seek to share the love of Christ with the world around us, following the new and living way of our risen Lord and Savior. Such a tremendous privilege that God invites us to join him in worship and in ministry. I pray that we'll take that invitation very seriously and joyously and passionately as well. So please allow me to pray. Heavenly Father, let us always hold fast to faith in your Son, Jesus, in whose name we pray. Amen. Pray that will bless you in ways that go way beyond your expectations today. So my brothers and sisters, we want to profess the Christian faith this morning and we'll use the words of the Apostles' Creed and so together we profess. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, this morning, let's pray the prayer our Lord taught us, the Lord's Prayer, and together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin, and our life sanctified in our work this day be well-pleasing to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. We thank you, our Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ your dear Son, that you have kept us this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep us this day also from sin and every evil, that all of our doings in life may please you. For into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies and souls and all things. Let your holy angels be with us, that the evil foe may have no power over us. Amen. So brothers and sisters, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, again, thank you so much for chiming in this morning to Peace Through the Word. Appreciate it so very, very much. And Lynn Lawrence, good to see you this morning in Benson, Arizona. Thank you, my dear, for making this time a regular time of your morning. It's appreciated, and that goes for all of you worldwide, no matter where you're chiming in uh, this morning. So it's a beautiful day in southern Arizona in Cochise County. Uh, clear skies, it looks like we're going to get. 
uh, sunny and the temperatures are going to get up to where I really like. Uh, high 80s, low 90s perhaps. And uh, so go out and enjoy the blessings of our Lord in abundance. Uh, the flaps have been retracted and I convey to each and every one of you tremendous blue skies. <laughs>